Hi, I'm Adrian. I work on the Flash team here at Adobe. Today I'm going to show you applications for the iPhone built using Flash platform tooling and delivered as native applications directly on the iPhone uh, that are available today for download on the App Store. Here's an example of a game called Fickle Blocks. And you'll notice as I'm clicking in here and making these blocks disappear, um, just how quick and responsive this is. Um, so I managed to get through that a level in about six moves in less than five seconds. Um, so really fast, responsive development. So we've done a lot of work to make sure that applications uh, are quick and interactive uh, and give you the kind of experience that you would expect from Flash as well as the kind of experience that you've come to expect on your iPhone. So this is a game called Chroma Circuit. It's the second application that I'm going to show you. And the way this works is it's a little bit of a puzzle game, so a little bit different interaction. I drag back and forth and interact with it. Um, I'm emphasizing this one uh, because this is actually a game that's available uh, as a Flash game in the web browser as well. So you can find this game and you can play it on your PC. You could play it uh, on another device that might have Flash Player 10.1 on it. Um, the difference, of course, is that in those environments you'd be playing it uh, inside the browser. And here, it's not a browser-based application. On the iPhone, we don't have a browser plugin. Uh, Flash Player 10.1 isn't available. Uh, and can't, can't browse to this application and just start using it. And so what developers have to do uh, is they have to go inside of Flash Pro and they have to export that project to a native application for the iPhone. While you're using Flash Pro to build these applications, it's being converted from Swift down to IPA, which is the native file for uh, applications on the iPhone. And so it's installed. There's no runtime interpretation. There's no JIT. Uh, these are applications that are built according to all of the rules that have been established in the iPhone developer program. And so you can go ahead and grab them from the App Store. Uh, when I say you can grab it from the App Store, you can do that on your device. So I can go in here and I can pull up the App Store. Or on your PC or your Mac, you can go to the App Store and you can pull it up there and purchase it and then connect the device and download it. So it's a really exciting time to be a Flash developer. You're now able to build applications for the iPhone um, that are native applications. They're designed and built with ActionScript 3 using Flash platform tooling. Uh, so the opportunities are almost endless. Um, you could start with content that you've built for the web uh, and deliver that specifically to the iPhone, making modifications and optimizing it. Or maybe you want to do something that's specific to the iPhone. You want to take advantage of the accelerometer or the multi-touch. Uh, so those are some of the capabilities that we've exposed inside of uh, these applications so you can take advantage of them as well. As a user, what's really exciting is that there are over a million Flash developers and designers that are out there right now building the best games on the web, uh, the best experiences on the web, now able to deliver that for your device as well. Um, if you're a developer, designer, uh, or just want to find out more about what it means to have applications for the iPhone built using Flash platform tooling, uh, you can go find more information at adobe.com iPhone. Uh, thank you very much.